right, it's Lachelle and Rosemary. And this is Peonies and Pearls DIY. Today we have just a, a couple of sweet little embellishments that we're going to show you. Really sang a little tune to me and I <laughs> thought, I want to try that. So okay, I'll show you what fun, what I created from what she demonstrated. Okay. And I and I think if you like it, just find the happy crafter and her name is G Car. G I is G and Car is K E R R. And I think you'll enjoy her channel as well. So without further ado, we're going to get, get after, after it. it. This is a little prototype of what we're going to do today. I thought this was cute for maybe a little girl's album or for a fairy journal. Yeah. Because or ballet. Or ballet or, so cute. or anything like that. And it's really, really yeah. simple to make. You're going to start with um, what I guess a would corset be a corset kind of, kind of thing. The top of a dress. <laughs> and and it doesn't have to be fancy. You can see in this one, I uh, changed the top of that little corset to something with more of a, a scoop neck. But you can also do uh, more of the rounded. Or maybe you just want one that's squared off. Sure. It doesn't really matter. You can find a lot of these little templates um, online that you can make your own just by taking a piece of paper and cutting in this general shape by folding a piece of paper in half and then it will be symmetrical on both sides. So I went ahead and cut one of these out ahead of time and basically we have to choose what papers we're going to use and um, I liked having the two tones because mm -hmm. I thought you could see the petal shapes much better. Now, you start with maybe deciding your pattern. You can see that I have one, two, three, four, five of the pattern, and I only have two of the solid. But you could do that. You could do all of them exactly the same if you wanted to, so that the skirt is the same fabric all the way through. I thought this would show up better on camera. So the very first step is to cut out your petals. And if you just take a small square, maybe you have some um, leftovers from another project. Yeah, I'm just grabbing my little scrap box here and you can just cut a tiered shape and I like to have the one on the outsides kind of curve a little bit you see that this isn't a perfect tier shape but more oh, like a, it kind of curves towards the inside I right. see and that way when you attach it to your little corset, it's going to give it a more rounded skirt, and you do two of those so that you can have one on each side. So let me just cut the other one to show you. It's, it's really, you could do these freehand as long as they're about the same size. I actually found a little clay cutter that was tear shaped that I bought for another project years ago and then I forgot about it and I actually used that um, cutter almost like a cookie cutter to just trace a little pattern for myself perfect then the, the ones in the center you can um, make actually like a teardrop at this time of the year, it almost looks like an Easter egg or April showers. <laughs> yeah. I always think of that, but you can just cut a whole bunch of them all at the same time. 
So thus far I have a couple for in the middle and I have a couple for each side and I think I'll cut another couple that are uh, in the blue color. So I'm mimicking what I did before. So I'm going to actually cut this one as well like I did the two end ones. But you don't have to. They could be like the two center ones. Let's see if I can just kind of line those up a little bit. Get some of my scraps out of the way. And we'll do one more the opposite direction. And we'll be ready to assemble these. I hope I'm staying in camera. I don't know why it is when you put a camera on it, you suddenly lose your brains. <laughs> <laughs> they scatter everywhere. <laughs> and you think, why is this so easy to do when nobody's watching? That's and, right. And it's so hard when you know there are people who are trying to follow along. So let me just clear some of my scraps, get them out of the way, and we can start putting this together. A great stash buster. It is. It's a good way to just get rid of all those things that accumulate on your desk. And that's basically what I was looking for. I had little scraps of paper left over, and I thought, well, what am I ever going to do with those? Maybe I should just toss them, but I have a hard time doing that. Yeah. Now, you can do what I did in this one, and that's uh, distress the edges with uh, whatever color you might like, or you could leave them plain, depending on how much is showing. You can see that I had some other paper on the other side, because I made a whole bunch of these little corsets out of some scraps, mm. and I didn't necessarily like the pattern very well, but you could see how cute that would be if you had uh, a mm -hmm. patterned one. So you could do it that way with a coordinating paper. All right, so now I'm going to more or less assemble this on my table here. And I'm going to alternate the patterns. And one of the things I want to do is to make sure that my petals totally uh, connect to the side of my corset. So that it, it doesn't, you could have it hang down farther this way if you like that look. Or you could have it come out more like this if you wanted it to be more ballerina style mm -hmm. but you're just going to layer those until you get a shape that you like and I think I'm going to have mine hang down more on this one than I did the last one so once I get the two on the outside done I can start fitting in the others and to do this, I just take a little bit, just a drop of glue at the top of the tear. And I get it situated the way I want it to look on both sides. And you could have these longer or shorter teardrops, depending on what you decide you want to do. And I think I want this to be a little higher than what I did. You can see what happens when you don't plan well. <laughs> then the next one you can uh, overlap just a little bit. And really that's all you're doing is just putting just these layering. Little, layering these petals however full you would like it to be. This would be fun with little pieces of fabric, too. It would be darling with fabric. I just don't have a fabric stash yet. My daughter is a quilter, and she has promised the next time she comes for a visit, 
she will bring me all kinds of shabby chic looking fabrics that's what i've asked her for mm -hmm. okay so i only have five on this one but on this one you can see that i had a couple more i don't think it makes a big difference but i think if you are making a wider skirt you will want to have more of the uh more petals like this one did so that it's a little fuller that's very cute and that is the basic design all you need to do now is to decide what kind of bling you're going to use how you're going to decorate it um, these little tiny pearls would look so sweet on there that and would. and so you could choose that these are a little more glamorous, but you can see that you could pull these off and, and maybe <clears throat> decorate the bodice. These come in long strips, and certainly you could just stick those on, and it starts to take on a personality of its own. If you had an old boa or the eyelash, um, mm -hmm. ribbon you could use those you can you could have it with or without straps or you could use a satin ribbon or whatever you want to well, I've got some boa if you want any sure shall we give that a twirl I yeah. used a little uh, tool on this one la la la, 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 la. Lachelle has everything it's so much fun to come <laughs> <laughs> now where should I cut this though um, I'm sure think you, you can just cut at the end. It doesn't matter. It's don't just a, that. a newer one, so it doesn't have the end cut. Oh, I'm going to invest in some of this. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Whoa! Lots of little... Well, let's see. Shall I put this up around the, the top? I sort of... When I cut that, it oh, maybe I'll put it around her waist right there. I never know what to buy at the store until I've been to Lachelle's craft room. <laughs> and then I say, oh, I need some of that. My husband will say, what for? I was buying little hair bows yesterday at the dollar store because some <laughs> of them had alligator clips on the back. And I wanted to use some alligator clips for stuff. And he said, why are you buying hair clips at your age? <laughs> and because. I said, because they have these little alligator clips. And he said, oh, for crafting, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, for crafting, I guess. I, I thought, guess. you got it, you sir. You got it, dude. <laughs> Aren't you smart? Everything we get is for crafting. And if you wanted to use these in a journal, you could actually take a paper clip and put it on the back so that you could stick mm -hmm. it over a a piece of paper. Maybe I should do this side. But I want to go and <laughs> it would fall up. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> I'll be cleaning your craft room for you when I'm all done. <laughs> yeah, it needs a good cleaning anyway. Well, the sky's the limit. How's yours coming? I'm deciding. This is a real simple little activity you could make a whole bunch and have them in your stash you could even make them real tiny if you wanted to do little oh, yeah. miniature ones i think those would be so sweet that would be really cute and and i can see lots of different uses if you had someone who was into dance but i would certainly distress all of these or um you could even put a whole line of pretty little 
uh, pearls going up and down. I think I'll try that. Okay. All right, where's oh my where's gosh, my little frou frou. I mean, look at this, and then <laughs> look at this. There's no comparison. Stop. Feathers going everywhere. Feathers the everywhere. They're getting in my glue. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think I should do something on the top there, or do you think it's got enough frill and frou frou? Oh, I think you need diamonds and pearls. I think Please, you should so put it's... some pearls. Along the top. Okay. <laughs> I mean, just look at how pretty that is. That Thanks. Is, that is just over the top beautiful. Oh, I think everything's better with a little bit of lace on it. <laughs> oh, then, I would agree. And feathers. Oh, yeah, boa feathers. The, we're going to be covered in boa feathers, too. So it's well, quite the... Yeah, it's, we'll be two peas in a pod because we're wearing the same color today. <laughs> we like to match for some strange reason. So do you have a trip planned yet after tax season's over? Um, we're gonna... actually going to go to Vegas for a bit. We'll go see a concert and do some fun things over there. And then well, it sounds like you'll have more fun than I do when I go to Vegas because we just go and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go to dinner and out to some shows and stuff. It's the only time we time we go to the movies is when we go to Vegas. We could go to the movies in Flagstaff, but we never do. Yeah. My husband said, well, we just don't ever think to do that. When we're in Vegas, we're looking for things to do. Mm -hmm. When we're at Flagstaff, we just don't bother. <laughs> yeah. Get stuck in a rut. I always told him I was a cheap date. <laughs> <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> One of my friends that got elderly, she was so funny she we were talking about food and cooking meals and stuff and she said if you are what you eat i must be cheap fast and easy <laughs> she was like 80 something as she said this and like everyone around was just rolling <laughs> laughing so hard because you know cheap fast and easy it just <laughs> you can't imagine Oh, I can. Her, I resemble you know, that remark. That, but <laughs> it was funny. <clears throat> yeah, we were having a discussion about elderly. When you're when you when become you become elderly. elderly, and I maintain that when you're in your seventies and into your eighties, you're vintage. You're That's not right. elderly. My husband was reading an article in the paper and laughing. He told me he had a job for me. And I said, I got enough jobs. What do you want from me? And he said, you need to write these people and tell them what what age elderly is. Because <laughs> he, he read about a couple who were found dead on the beach in Miami or somewhere. And they were an elderly couple. She was 76 and he was 77. And I said, shut up. That's not elderly. <laughs> the closer we get to it, the more we protest. I, I am in the middle of that. <laughs> and I am far from elderly. I'm here to tell you there's elderly and there is elderly. 
<laughs> That's true. Especially your mom lived to 90. 93, and she was elderly. And I think my grandpa was like 97. Well, One I of my grandpa's. Just visited a friend that had to move over to Vegas to live with her daughter. And she turns 99 this Ooh. coming September. And she is just as spry and smart. And so she does not look one bit different than she did when she left Flagstaff. So there you have it. Yeah. She may be 99, but she is not elderly. Far from yeah, it. She's a cute lady. She is. She kept saying, well, I wish I had some news for you, but I don't ever go anywhere or do anything. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my goodness. Well, I need to steal some lace from you. If you're just going to be over there yeah. making yours <laughs> so beautiful and mine is looking like plain Jane came to town. You didn't bring all the stuff. I didn't bring enough stuff. Look at this. You gotta put the little skirt out. Oh, <laughs> didn't know about that skirt. <laughs> I just added it. <laughs> My gosh, <laughs> it's a little, little under. Look at that. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Does it show up? I don't know. If it Mine shows looks like there. a five-year-old put it, it together. It does not. It does not. <laughs> Yeah, she needs a little something around her bodice. Otherwise, her ne'er-do-wells will be showing. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> the wannabes aren't there. The wannabes. The wannabes. Okay. And so, yeah, this would make a fun little embellishment or... <laughs> Yeah, look oh, at that. Just take up the whole front of the... <laughs> that is a cover all by cover. itself. Yeah. When Lachelle does ephemera, she does ephemera. I do the ephemera. <laughs> Me, I do these dinky do's so that they fit in well, a journal. you have a point of. Probably wouldn't fit very great. Anyway, I had a great time. Me too. And I think that you could just... The sky's the limit. You could just go hog wild like yes. Lachelle. She is I'm just hog a, wild. She is a master. And this is our cute little. I think they're all cute. I just, think they're you all use them different. For different ways. You would. You would. And they they're charming. And I think G Carr. I hope I'm saying her name right. G-I is how you spell her first name. Is it K-E? And it's K-E-R-R-G car. Thank you, G. I like the little netting on this. Yeah. The cute little tiny. Yeah, I spent flowers. a long time on that one. and You made little straps. That's cute. I did. Made little straps. I like the ones, too, that have the bodice, and then you put the strings of lace going mm -hmm. down to make the... Yeah, but we've seen a long, lot of that. Really, really long. Yeah. But I, that's I just think this is sweet. And if you wanted to just do a little fairy, or if you've got paper dolls, mm -hmm. you could actually make a cute little fairy skirt for a paper doll. Yeah. There are lots of things you could do. If you just get in your craft room and start pulling stuff out, I can't right. can't walk into mine today. It I'm... happens sometimes, <laughs> to, even to the best of us. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, All we, right. we hope you had a good time because we did. We just enjoy chit-chatting and hope that you will find some use for this. If you yeah, do, give get us a comment. And and, use your stash. Yeah, use your stash. Use your little scraps. All and right, we'll, we'll bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs>